Hello everyone, it's Mandy Dennis here. I'm an account manager here with Remind. And I wanted to go over a little known function of Remind Pro that I think that most agents um, don't know about or maybe they have forgotten. And that is our Docs feature here. So what Docs is, I'm gonna simply click on Docs to get to the Docs dashboard. What Docs is, is Docs is a program where you can upload a file and you can send that off for electronic signatures. So this is something that is a super simple way, especially if you're a new agent and you don't have an electronic signature program already lined up and you have maybe a file and you need to Get, get it sent for electronic signatures. This is the way you can do it. It's completely free. It's included with Remind Pro. So how this works basically is I would come into the dashboard. Um, I would upload a file. So I just hit start now. So I'm gonna choose a PDF file here to upload. So let's see here, I believe I have exclusive right to sell listing agreement here. So I'm gonna choose that. I'm gonna open that up. So once that is uploaded, I'm going to hit continue. So from here, I've already had some transaction files already uploaded into docs. If I just need to put this document to one of my already existing folders, then I could choose which folder that may be. If I need to create a new folder, so you can store documents within docs. So if I needed to create a new folder, maybe this is a new transaction name. Let's just say this is the Youngs for the Youngs. So I'm gonna create a new transaction for them, a new folder, and I'm going to simply hit done. So now I am in the Young's folder, my transaction folder, the Young's, you'll see there's my PDF that I uploaded. So I'm gonna click on that PDF. And so from here, this is where I can set up who are the people who is party to this particular document. Well, this particular document, because it's not involving any type of buyers, it's really only the sellers that need to sign this along with myself as the agent. So I'm going to hit the edit people. So this is where you're going to set this, basically who you're representing in this particular transaction. So right now we're representing these sellers. So I'm going to choose sellers. So I've moved down to the listing agent. So now what I need to do is I need to, because this document doesn't have anything to do with buyers. It only has to do with my sellers. I'm going to start typing in my seller's name. So I do my seller, his name is Bob Young. So I'm gonna simply click, type in his name, Bob. And then once I have his name typed in, I need to click back on his name just to enter his email address if I'm sending this off for signatures. So let's just enter his email address here. Of course, I could fill out his complete name, which is what I would probably want to do, especially if this is an official document. So once I have his information filled in, I'm going to simply hit done. So I'm not gonna worry about the buyer's agent on this particular form. If this, if eventually as things go along and I end up having a buyer for this property I'm getting ready to list, then I would set up another transaction folder and do the same thing. But since this guy right here is the only one I need signatures on, then that's who only person I'm gonna add. So I'm gonna go back to the document. So now you can see that the people involved is myself as the listing agent and Bob is the seller. So now I need to add, of course, I would have this document already filled out. So what I need to do is I need to add places here for me to send this off for Bob to initial and to sign. So I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom of this document because there are some places here that I can add sellers initials to. So I'm going to go to my initial option here. I'm going to choose Bob because he's who needs to sign this. And so I'm going to just simply place his initials where I need for him to electronic initial. 
So one thing you'll note, you will see off to the side that if I wanted to include the date to, with this when he signs or the time and date stamp, I could do that as well. So basically, I'm going to go through the document. I'm going to add places for Bob where he needs to initial everywhere. So I'm going to do that on each one of these spots. And then once I get through doing that, then I can actually come back up here because there are, there are places that I need to initial as the listing broker. So this time I'm gonna choose initial and I'm gonna choose my own name. So I'm gonna put my, where I need to initial in all these spots as well. So once I'm done doing that, of course, I would scroll down here to the bottom because usually that last page is where we have some signature spots and we do. So from here, this time I'm going to choose signature because Bob needs to sign this. So I'm going to select Bob and then I'm going to place where he needs to sign. Again, I can include that time and date stamp if I want to do that. Um, so I'm just going to leave that as is. Let me kind of scoot this over a little bit. All right, so then I need to add my signature. So let me go back to signature, add myself as the listing agent, and then I'm going to put my signature there as the broker. So once I am done adding all of my signature boxes in, just so you can see what other options you have, you do have access to drawing tools. So if there's something that I need to line through on this document, I could do that from here. Um, I could add a text box if there's something that I need for either myself to put in there or maybe I need for my buyer to fill something in. So I do have that option here as well. So once I am done with adding all of these text boxes and all these signature boxes and I'm ready to send that off for electronic signature, I can simply just come here to send, choose which document that I want to send off for signature, going to hit continue, going to hit continue, and then from here, I can see that um, Bob, that's my seller, so that's who needs to sign this particular document, I'm going to select him. If there's someone that I need to add just as a kind of a view only that um, they're not going to be able to sign or do anything. I could always come in here and add someone as a view only. So they'll receive a copy of this as well. I can top Bob a message. Um, and then basically, I'm just going to send that off. And then once I send that off, then Bob's going to receive a link for him to click on. It's going to prompt him to set up an electronic signature. And then he's going to sign the document. And then I will receive notification back on my side that Bob has, re, has signed the document. So a super simple way to be able to upload a PDF file and to get a signature in just a matter of minutes. And it's completely free, included with Remind Pro. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, hopefully that is helpful. Um, in a super simple way to get a signature. So um, thank you so much. And I hope you guys have a great day.